Hi and welcome to the data stream tutorial. My name is Jan and I'm a teaching assistant in finance at Stockholm Business School. Today I'm going to show you how you can navigate yourself through the data stream, find the data you need and download it. <laughs> so for those who don't know, data stream is a financial database which is provided to you by Thomson Reuters. You can access it through the computers at Stockholm Library or at Craft Rake at House 3. The computers which have data stream has a label on it. Uh, when you log in, you double click on the shortcut data stream 5.1. And once the data stream is opened, you will see the big window. Here it is. This is the main window where all the results are usually shown. In the left pane, uh, in data category, you can navigate through the different types of instruments. You can specify which exactly you want. Either you want to have some economic data, or you want to have exchange rates, or equities, and so on. Then, in analysis part, you actually specify what, ex what exactly type of data you want. For example, uh, in single series, you may select uh, time series, like price. If you have a company, you can select uh, financial reports in the report section. Uh, once you put your mouse, mouse pointer somewhere over here, for example in equities, you will see that there are two selection options, criteria search and uh, explorer. Criteria search is better to use when you search for a specific company, whereas uh, explorer is more for wide queries when you're not really sure what what you're searching for, but for example you're searching for all the companies wh uh, which are automobile producers in Sweden and then you can uh, explore it and identify these company, companies pretty easily. So let's uh, let's make an example, let's try to search for the company Sandvik and uh, let's try to see how it, it will work. So you put your mouse on equities then press criteria search. Then in the search field you type Sandvik, press enter. Then you see there are multiple queries. Each query has a small description of the company and if you click on it you will uh, see that the chart is loaded on and it also tells to the symbol was the category, the market and uh, where is it situated. So we will use this Sandvik so to add it to our kind of uh, to extract the data from the uh, from the database we need to press either here on W Sand or here it doesn't really matter so you press and then you see that in the name field uh, Sandvik W Sand appeared and then you go and specify for how how much period of time you would like to have your data. For example, now it's selected that you will have the data for the last 15 years. Let's select 10 years and uh, then let's specify which data exactly we want to have. Let's select uh, stock prices during the last 10 years. Then you go to the left pane, to analysis part, select single series data and time series data. Then before clicking run now, make sure that the data type is selected to the default and not Goodwill Gross. Otherwise you will have an error. So now I'm pressing run now. And here you have all the, all the stock prices for the last 10 years. You can even ex uh, export it to Excel. So uh, you just press on, uh, on this button and then you have data stream from viewport, current sheet, then transfer to current sheet and place data at active cell. Press OK. Then automatically Microsoft Excel opens and you have all the data in here. OK, don't save. Uh, then you can go through the financial report. For this you go to the single series report and then you can select for example balance sheet press run. This is data is limited as you can see and profit and loss report is uh, income statement. Then you can 
like here key accounts, cash flow statement, whatever you pretty much want to see. Also you can see just the overview of the company performance which gives you a small shortcut, a small overview to see to the main financial information of the company. Also it is possible to select multiple companies and in this case you would like to see for example uh, to use an explorer. To do this you have to select you go you have to go here and select multiple series of flexible chart. You go to mul multiple series and then for example if you want to select multiple prices stock prices for companies uh, you go to time series data and then here you have you see that you have this window usually you add a new companies over here so now you just go again to the data category and you want to select for example some data you, go, you, can, you can either go to criteria search but let's go to explorer so then you will have this data stream navigator opened let's go to Sweden and then we have all the industry all the companies sorted by industries let's go to aerospace and defense we can actually press on here show one selected explorers and then here are three companies which are cyber uh, aerospace and defense uh, in Sweden so to add all of them and to download data for all of them simultaneously you can just select here all and then you press on use and you see here we have three our companies in the list then all the all the steps to get the prices is going to be the same you make sure that here is default then you select for which time period you would like to have the data for for example 15 years then just press run now and here it is cyber area sub and ctt and you see for example for SIBA, uh, SYB IRA you didn't have a data here because maybe the company didn't exist it or was not provided or didn't provide any information so when it's no information it says NA and again you can export it to to the spreadsheet and just press OK and then it's open and you have all the data in here so this is it for the basic functionality of data stream uh, thank you for watching have a nice day good luck